before we start our vow work, I just want to take a minute to remind you why we're working so hard on vows. And it has nothing to do with taking the test next week, but it has everything to do with being a good reader, a good reader. Now, remember, vows are very special. They have two different sounds and they are in every single word you will read. There's going to be a vow. So in order to be a good reader, yeah, you've got to be good at those vowels. All right. So that's why we're working so hard so that you can be the best reader that you can be. All right. That being said, let's go ahead and take a look. For the first group of words that you're going to make, S and H will be the very first sounds. So when you put S and H together, it makes that digraph shh. And the last sound will be P, the letter P. All right. So here is shh, app, shap. It's a nonsense word, but that's okay. Let's do the e eh sound. Sh, e, p, shep. How about the i eh sound for letter I? Sh, i, p, ship. And I bet there are some of you that are reading these words faster than I am even. How about the ah uh, sound? Sh, op, shop. Hey, one of my favorite things. And the letter U, the uh sound. Sh, up, shop. Hmm, another nonsense word, but that's okay because we're getting lots of vowel practice. All right, for the next set of words, the first sound is going to be P, P and the last sound is going to be N. Mm. All right, let's start putting those vowels in there. P and pan. Change the A ah to an E. Eh. P N. Pen. Like I write with a pen. Change the E eh to an E. Eh. And I bet you are, some of you are already saying this word. P in pin. We practiced that word this week. Pin. Let's put ah in there. P on pawn. And how about uh? P un pun. And that is a real word. A pun is just kind of a joke. All right. Now let's build some words. Let's build some words using these letters. We've got A says. N says N, mm, T says T, G says G, R says R, and B says B. All right, so the first word that I want to spell is the word tan. A light brown is a tan. So chopping it up, T and tan. What did you hear first? T. Absolutely, that T sound. Now, if you were to ride that roller coaster car, what vowel would you hear at the top of that hill? T and. Did you hear it? T and. And what do you hear at the end? Punch it out. Tan. Do you hear the sound for N? That's your word. T and. Tan. Now we're going to change this word. And instead of making it tan, we're going to make it tag. Tag. What do we need to change? T a g. The G instead, right? We replace the N with a G. T ag. Tag. All right, let's change the beginning sound. Let's make the word rag. Rag. So we're going to take off the T and we're going to add a r, r sound. R ag. Rag. Tag and rag rhyme because the ending stayed the same. Now, let's change rag to rat. So rag, rat. The only thing that changes is that ending sound. So instead of the G, rat. Now, that's that T sound, rat, rat. All right, let's change the beginning sound again. So instead of rat, I want to write, or I want to make the word bat, bat. Now here they rhyme, rat, bat. So the ending will stay the same. But instead of a rrr sound at the beginning, you're going to have a bup sound at the beginning. Bup, at, bat. Okay, well, I think you are ready for page 78. We're going to be working with some of these same sounds. So it says, do not brag about your doll. Now, we didn't make that word, but we could. But we could. B, rrr, a, g. Do you hear it? B -r ag. Do not brag about your doll. It's got an R blend. B R. Br ag. Brag. 
here is my school bag. We did make that one. Is that a mouse or a rat? We made that one. The shirt has a tag. Tag. We made that one. All right, so choose the correct word, write it in your sentence, upload your work to Schoology.